Welcome back. So we have now completely prepared our format for cash flow statement, balance sheet and the profit and losses statement. And you can see we have nice formats now. One thing that we still need to do is to add the year numbers. I mean the financial year 2023, 20, 24, 25. We still need to do that, but I will be doing it in a minute. First, I need to tell you something and that is, let us say this is the first year 2023 and I have to calculate my sales. Well, I can do that by simply multiplying the sales volume that is going to be this one into the sales price that is going to be this one. I can do that and it will give me my answer definitely. But let us not do it this way. In financial modeling, one of the best practices is to keep the calculations separate on a separate sheet and not to perform any calculations on the face of profit and loss statement or the balance sheet or the cash flow statement. So the first thing that we need to do is to add a new sheet and I'm going to rename this sheet as schedules. You can call that workings or notes as well. And I will place that sheet right next to assumptions. So assumptions will be flowing into schedules and all the calculations will be there and the values will be flowing from here to other sheets that are profit and loss balance sheet and cash flow statement. Now the first thing that we need to do, I should be, you know, uh, aligning my columns uh, uh, height and width in the same way as other sheets. And for that, what I will do is I will simply copy paste these columns from my profit and loss statement. I'll paste that to balance sheet that brings all my, you know, sizing and then I can delete all of these top, top rows just to make sure that all of our sheets are in the same the width of the columns is the same and now we can start our workings here and the first thing that we need to do is to bring in the year for each column so you know this column b is a blank column which represents the last year for opening values so our workings will be starting from column c for each year and the first year of business is going to be i'm going to link that from here to the assumptions page and the first year of business is mentioned here and this is now my first year and what is the benefit of linking so at some point if we have to change our model and we say we are starting business in 2025 we will be making changes here only and everything will be so updated and of course the next year will be the previous year plus one and we can do that for all the remaining years and now you, you can see that we have are five years from 2023 to 2027 and all of these values here are linked with the assumptions sheet so if I go back there and I change the first year of business to let us say 2030 now you will come back and see all of these values have been updated accordingly and that is exactly why we want to link everything so I'll undo that for now and I will go back now that we have our years available in schedule we can link that in our profit and loss statement and the balance sheet and the cash flow and how we are going to do that i can simply do it equals schedules that is 2023 and now i can copy paste this to all the remaining cells and you can see that you have the numbers coming from schedule in all of these years definitely we should be you know changing the font here make it white font and make it bold and one thing that you may like to see is you may like to see these years with FY financial year and if that is something you want to do let us press F2 on our keyboard to open the formula and I'll go back here and I will say inverted commas FY give us space so that there is a space in final answer as well and inverted commas close and then and sign and now press enter and now you have FY 2023 copy that and paste that to all the remaining cells and now you have your years represented in the way that you wanted right now with this I would like to tell you another qualitative aspect of financial modeling that is qualitative rule again and that is all of the other columns second third four five column should be using the same formula that we are using in year one so in all of these cases in all different values we will copy the column c value 
and paste that to column V and our answer should be correct. So this is going to be one of the qualitative aspects so that the users, the readers of the financial statements don't have to actually go and check the workings again and again. If they know the one line that should that should be pretty clear that all of the remaining lines are same. Now there is a little bit exception that will be happening sometimes and that will be happening in the sh schedules. So for example here you can see in my schedules all of these columns have same formula from D, E, F and G. Look at the formula here. But the column C has different formula here. We can bring the same formula to here as well by you know we can make sure that even here we have the same formula but that will over complicate the workings. We will have to use much more Excel uh, formulas to get that Excel techniques to get that value. So we will take a small exception here in schedules but for the PL balance sheet and cash flow there won't be any exception and we will be making sure that we are using the same values in all different columns that is being used in column C. And now that everything has been set up together we are going to start preparing these values from the next lecture and we will be completing our profit and loss statement soon.